Hello WordPress users, welcome to another WordPress tutorial from How to Webmaster. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the proudly powered by WordPress credit down here from your WordPress site. And with this tutorial, you can actually remove any kind of credits or copyright from the folder of any theme. And to do this, log into your WP admin dashboard. Head over to the appearance menu here. Click on theme editor. So you do need to mess around with some codes, but it's actually not that bad. It's pretty simple. Look for a file called the folder on the right sidebar here. So it will be called folder or theme folder. And the file is folder.php. Just click on that. And to prevent from breaking your WordPress site, make sure you back up the footer.php file or simply highlight everything, right click, copy and paste it into your a notepad or some kind of document to keep it as a backup just in case something goes wrong and then you can simply paste it back as is into here. So let's scroll down to where it says proudly powered by WordPress okay so here it is this is the line we will delete so delete this and let's update the file and it will say file edited successfully okay let's refresh the page and now you see that the proudly powered by WordPress credit is gone now let me show you another way to remove the powered by WordPress using a plugin. So this plugin here, I'll leave the link in the description below this video. You can also directly search for this plugin from inside of your WP admin dashboard. And what this plugin does is that it will remove the powered by WordPress credits from all of these themes from 2010 all the way to 2019. So to test to see how this works, so I am installing 2017 right now. Okay, let's activate it. Okay, now my blog is now running the 2017 theme. And there it is, proudly powered by WordPress. Let's remove it with a plugin. So let's go to plugin, add new. And here, let's search for remove powered by WordPress. Okay, just like that and here it is remove powered by wordpress let's install now and click on activate and okay the plugin is now activated and yep there it is it removed the powered by wordpress without messing around with any codes so this could be a better option for you and again it only works with these default wordpress themes it will not work on custom themes and third-party themes. Okay, I hope this video helps. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to How to Webmaster for more WordPress tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks again, and happy blogging.